Hey everyone, this is your 5-Minute Daily Devotional. Today's scripture verse is coming from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 11. It reads as follows, Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. I think one of the greatest things about being a Christian is the community. We sometimes hear phrases out in the world about finding your tribe or finding your people or that no man is an island. No person can do everything all on their own and all that is very, very true. I personally think that a lot of those are God thoughts that God probably gave people which just sort of spread because they were such good ideas because honestly, if you look through the Bible, God talks about friends and community all over the place. He tells us that love prospers when a fault is forgiven but dwelling on it separates close friends. We are to make allowances for each other's faults and forgive those who offend us. We should remember that the Lord forgave us, so we should forgive others as well. And a friend is loyal at all times, and a brother is born to help in time of need. God wants us to have friends, to support each other, to be there for each other, to help each other when we are in need, in times of need. I think one of the greatest things about being a Christian is the community really honestly because of church. I mean, there is sort of like no other place that kind of compares to the church body. In church, we all get to come together under one accord. We all have this thing in common, and that thing is the greatest thing to have in common, the Lord Jesus Christ. But we all sort of have him in common, and we come together in unity. We come together in community. Because we all have a relationship with the Lord, even if we are in different places, in our walks with the Lord, we all have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, who, as our verse notes today, helps us to encourage each other and build each other up. He's working in us, through us, to help each other. Church members not only serve each other at church, but we pray for each other when there are times of need, when we need prayer requests. We, outside of the church, we're there for each other as far as babysitting or house repairs or helping you to move or just helping and being there for you when you need it. People come together when there's a passing or when there's a new birth. It's just there's this community built in at church, sort of like an extended family, the family of God, where you can go to people. You can get help from people. You can help other people in times of need. You can be there. We can be there for each other. Now, this does mean that you need to, one, go to church, <laughs> become a member of a church, and to get involved to meet people. My dear, dear friend, you are not an island, and we can't always act that way. We can't always think, oh, I've got it. I, I've got me. I can sort of take care of me. No, no man is an island. God wants us to get involved in community, to meet people, to get out there. There are seasons where God does, yes, separate us for a purpose, where he has us isolated. He wants us to be in an isolated season where he's helping us to grow and mature. But I would say for the majority of the time, no, God wants us in community. He wants us out there. He wants us connected. Now, does this also mean that you will find a church that is perfect? You will not. <laughs> you will absolutely not. And you won't find a perfect church where there isn't the opportunity to be hurt by people because people are at church and none of us are perfect. And dear heart, I want you to remember that, that yes, there is an opportunity to be hurt by people at church. I think sometimes we think that because we are Christians, we shouldn't act a certain way. So when people act a way that is not becoming of Christ, that is not representative of Christ at church, we get that much more, more hurt by it. We get that much more injured by it because of how they've acted towards us. I personally have been very hurt, very, very hurt by members of the body of Christ, by my brothers and sisters in Christ, pastors included. I've been extraordinarily hurt by those in the church, so much so if it had not been for God preparing my heart, sort of letting me know what was coming down the line or what was happening behind the scenes, I probably would have fallen away from the church. But God helped me to see that, okay, yes, none of us are perfect. We are all works in progress. It's necessary to forgive people in the church, just like I do family or friends or people outside of the church, and to remember that there is more good in the church than there are the few people that may hurt us. Friends, get out there and make some friends. Find a good church that teaches the Bible, that's built with the Holy Spirit, that confesses Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord, and get you and your family out there and get connected. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I pray for my brothers and sisters watching God, and I pray I would just sort of be your mouthpiece, Lord, to remind them to get out there, Lord, to get connected, Lord, to find their people, to find their tribe, to find a really good church home, Lord, to help them to just 
get connected, Lord. Have those people that can walk by their sides in the good times and bad times of life, Lord, and they can do the same for them, Lord. There is such a blessing, God, in community, in church community especially, Lord, where we all share you in common, God. We all have that common bond of the Holy Spirit, of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's so priceless, Lord. It's so precious, Lord. I pray that you would show them, Lord, where to steer clear of, Lord, as far as places that would maybe cause some harm and where to go, God, that would be a blessing to them and they would be a blessing to it. We thank you, God, in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like and comment on this video. I would appreciate it and I would love to have you guys have a great day. God loves you so much. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching all ways. I will see you next time and God bless you.